Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to bend the beam and I have prepared the example what I have been discussed with the Yiji from the Czech Republic. So thank you Yiji and I have reused your predefined dimension as we have been spoken. So you can see here that the force what we would like to use the it's a 40 kilonewtons the length of the beam will be 2 meters and uh, additional parameters are possible to see here that we will reuse the eye profile and then over here is the calculation if you do it we can say by hand so over here are the result based on the math so 231 megapascal and the displacement will be 7.3 millimeters i will try to do it directly with Creo Simulate. So you can see here that I have prepared a simple 3D model and the length of the 3D model is 2 meters. And if you will check the profile, it's the, the used profile. So we can say that is the HEP 100. And also if I will check the properties, the units are set correctly as the millimeter Newton because we would like to use the Newton and the material will be specified. So in application simulate you are able to select the material assignment and we can check the material and you see here that in my list I use the steel mechanical light and if I will double click we can see the the young modules is set as we need and also the density are defined in the tone. So the material is OK. I will select and confirm. And if we would like to continue, what we need to specify is the specify the displacement. If you will check here, the displacement is set as the fix and then is the possible to move in the X direction. Yes, so left hand side we will use the displacement and in this example I will use the H as the reference and we will use this edge and we will fix it so the translation will be fixed and rotation will be free if you will leave the mouse here the system will wrote to you what does it mean over here is the fix so on the left hand side everything is fixed for the translation rotation is free and on the right hand side I will use the new displacement we will specify the right side but not surface sorry remove and change to edge and i will select edge simply and easy possible to repair and as i mentioned i'd like to use the translation in the x so over here you can see that x direction is here so we will use the free because it has to be corresponding for the our calculation so if i will come from ok everything is defined what does it mean regarding the displacement in the middle we would like to place the force and I'd like to specify the force on the some small area. So right now you see that system always choose for me the surface. And as mentioned before, we have you are able to use the volume region. So system will go through, hold the model or if you would like to use the on the surface. So the geometry meshing will be on the surface only not through the whole geometry. You are able to create surface region and in the surface region I will create the in the middle directly the circle. So for example a really small circle will be definite here and we would like to have it directly in the middle. So 1000 and some diameter doesn't matter for now. OK and surface which I would like to place it is here. Great, so this surface, this small surface will be reused for the force. So if I will select this small area, the system asks me where I would like to put and we know that we would like to go minus on Y direction. And as mentioned in the calculation, I will show you it's a 40 kilonewton. So we will use the 40 kilonewton. Yeah, it's a newton, so you are able to change if you wouldn't like to use the different one everything is defined as needed okay I forgot to but push the minus so no problem you are able to select it and add the definition and push the minus I set minus and I forgot no problem you can see it is really easy to change 
Perfect. Material is defined, displacement also, and force is set also. We can start the analysis, so we'll jump into analysis study in the file new static. We will create the base definition for the single pass adaptive, so only two iterations will be run it. If you will run the multipass adaptive, the system allow to you to run nine iterations, so the time will be much longer for the calculation, but the, the results will be much, much better. Yeah, because you have a nine iteration for the calculation at the behind. So for now, only two iterations are good enough, so I will confirm OK. And don't forget to set up preferences that you would like to use half of your AM. RAM. So what does it mean? I have a 16 megabyte, so I would like to use the 8. I will confirm OK. And everything is ready. I can run the calculation. And confirm OK. And wait. After a few seconds, the system will finalize the analysis. You can see that is marked as done. And also, you can directly jump in to review the results. If I would like to see the result, I can hit this button. And directly here, we would like to see the stress in megapascal. And in display option, I would like to use the continuous tone, deformation. And for example, we would like to see the overlay. For example, the scale can be only 5%. I don't need to have really big deformation. And if I will finish by OK and show, system will show me the final results. And right now on the left hand side, you can see that system fixed the edge and on the right hand side is move it to the X direction. So perfect. It looks good. And the final results we can compare. We can have a look here. The tension or the stress is the 231 in the extreme fiber. So what does it mean? If I will jump here on the bottom, we are able to see the dynamic query. And if you will move the mouse, the system will calculate what is the number behind. So what does it mean? Right now we are looking for the stress. So the system will show me that it's 229 megapascal. What was here? 231. So you see that is really, really small difference. So maybe if you will use the multipass adaptive, it will be almost perfect. And if we will change the preferences that we would like to know the displacement. So we can have a look here, displacement, and we will select magnitude. The system will show me over here it's possible to see 7.5 millimeters. Also, if I will use the dynamic query, I can move this point was moved 7.4, yeah, 7.5 almost. So it depends where you move your mouse. If you would like to see the maximum, you can check by selection model max, and the system will show you where the maximum is placed. Or you can clear the tags and or you would like to edit and if you would like to animate also possible because you are able to select animation, auto start for example and 24 frames and you would like to see how it's work. So perfect. It's working well. Yeah. So you can change it anytime or you can jump here and edit additional information what you want yeah so it was for his example and bg has the different approach that he do not fix the edges like i mentioned here at the beginning and he preferred to use some extension plate so we can compare yeah so we can say 7.5 millimeters 7.3 millimeters so also per almost perfect yeah again maybe multipass adaptive will help you can try by yourself so we can do of the easy proposal and I will delete the necessary information. So we don't need to use this analysis. And also I will note the use the constraints, what was defined before, and we will use the new constraint. So we can check where is my plate. Okay. The datum plane is in the middle. Okay. So we can directly create some extrude feature and EG said that it's much better if I will use some plate here. So we can try to create some plates and some dimension here, for example, 350 millimeters. And the 
thickness will be five millimeters, for example. And we can mirror it on the opposite direction, really easy. And now, if you would like to work with the Creo Simulate, we are able to jump into Creo Simulate. The force is defined, material is defined. What is not defined is displacement. So also I am not able to select right now the edge. I will select the surface and we will reuse this bottom surface. Yeah, same preferences as before. So everything is fixed and rotation is allowed. And on the right hand side, I have seen that you usually you have used the fixed constraint, but I like to use also here that Z di X, y, X direction yeah, X direction, you can see here, X direction will be free and all another one will be fixed. So it will be based same as predefined information at the beginning. Okay, let's try if the calculation will be similar. So we can create new static, everything is defined. And if I would like to show you the multipad adaptive, so okay, we can have a look here. Maximum is polynom, how many times the system will run and iteration, for example, six, seven, eight, nine. Maximum is nine, yes. Yeah? So base it on the what you would like to. And percentage of the convergence. What does it mean? The system will calculate first round. System will calculate the number and values and then create a second polynomial order and compare convergence. And if the convergence will be uh, approximately 10, then the system will finish the calculation. This is the logic. If you know more details, please share it with under my video and it will be great. So I will come from OK. So we will work in the multipass adaptive. It took some time, but over is no problem. I am using also 8 RAM, so perfect. And we can run the analyze. So we will run analysis. And if you would like to see the calculation results, we can show the display study status and we will wait for a few more second at the beginning yeah because it's a multi-pass adaptive so the calculation took some longer and then you will see that will be run the first pass second pass and then system will compare the values and if the convergence is approximately 10 percent will be finished or will be continue yeah so we can wait for a while and we can continue. Yeah, right now you can see that pass one is calculated, pass two is calculated, and the elements are mentioned here and compensation behind is working. So solving equations, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Okay, run complete. We can close this window and we would like to see the result. So same review result. And we will simply only display option. And I like to use this deformate and overlay. It. And for example, 5% is good enough for this example. If you would like to see the more color, you can add more color. It's not a problem and continue. Perfect. What is it here? We can see that system fix this left side as planet, so the surface has been fixed. The bending of the profile is here. Yes, of course, in the X direction, the system need to move this one. So the, the bending here is not so bad. Perfect, looks good. And what is the value? We can have a look. Dynamic query, and I can move the mouse over here is some, something most of so 233. Yeah, almost as calculated, 231 megapascal, perfect. And if you will check the displacement, yeah, and we can see here seven point, we can have a look, view max, what it is, or you can use again the dynamic query. Yeah, so over here right now, the calculation is 7.83 as the maximum. Almost perfect as was calculated by hand. So in this example, you have seen how it's possible to make two definition of the displacement and for the edge or for the surfaces, if you need to create a band profile or how you are able to create the surface region, if you would like to specify the force, 
or for example you would like to fix some additional geometry or create the more specific the meshing so please stay tuned hit the like button on the video or donate me buy coffee have a nice time vladimir